Ancient building techniques are an excellent subject to explore if one wishes to understand just how advanced our hidden ancestors were. Additionally, it allows one to get a true insight into the contradictions currently upheld by academic institutes the world over. There still exists an extraordinarily diverse array of building techniques. Some, interestingly, appear to overlap even older advanced methods. For example, a stone boring technology, seemingly used upon many ancient monuments, in many cases it appears to have been deliberately used to alter, and in many cases slightly damage these ancient stones, leaving them etched with uncanny marks, possibly in an attempt to also leave their mark to prove their past existence, later to be realized by us, now laying within their very distant future. We feel that these marks, along with many other aspects of these ancient sites, indicates that many ancient civilizations have been and gone here upon our Earth. Ancient metal clamps used to seat enormous stones, precision machine-cut blocks, some left within quarries, clearly indicating machine manipulation, impossible block building, effortlessly fitting random-sized blocks perfectly together. Yet the most enigmatic of these ancient building features, which many suspect was indeed somehow connected to the construction of said sites, has to be the protuberances. Rarely mentioned within history books, yet these protuberances are present on many of the most ancient of block structures, which can be found all over the world. No one seems to know what these protuberances were placed upon these structures for. The biggest of these, undoubtedly carved into the still in situ megaliths at Yangshan Quarry, a feature we have previously noted and pondered over. Not only do these enigmatic notches suggest a past, world-going, highly advanced civilization having once prospered here upon our planet, but a feature known as the Boss Mark, found deep within the Great Pyramid of Khufu, may link, for the first time, the builders of the Great Pyramids to a number of ancient structures found elsewhere on Earth. We now feel that it is highly likely, regardless of past cataclysm, that the human species has successfully survived long enough to have actually outlived our own most ancient ruins. Furthermore, the methods used by the pyramid builders are, interestingly, the same methods used by builders of the other sites containing protuberances. This strategic building method meaning that their ruins have outlived, we feel, many other ancient civilizations now lost to history. Their capability to move such mind-bogglingly huge stone blocks, and their ability to create such erosion-resistant structures, indicate to us that the builders of these sites may have lived an unimaginably long time ago, and probably chose to create such earth-shifting structures in a bid to indeed survive the eons. Were they doing so in an attempt to leave their legacy on our planet? Or maybe they were, and are, still trying to tell us something. Only time will tell. We've covered many strange and unexplained things which can be found within Egypt. Home to undoubtedly one of the most perplexing structures on the face of the planet, it is a place which also displays erosion from an as yet untold history evidence of a far greater antiquity and obviously its many unexplainable creations. Yet there are still many amazing areas of this once flourishing civilization's home which are yet to be told. One such site which is currently being unraveled is the once lost, submerged city of Heracleion. Also known as Thonis, it was a place long thought to have been mythical. A city of extraordinary wealth, mentioned by Herodotus, visited by Helen of Troy and Paris, her lover but according to legend mysteriously buried under the sea. Recent discoveries have in fact confirmed that Heracleion was true, not only that it existed, actually know where it is. Successfully uncovering many of its treasures, archaeologists have been able to produce a picture of what life was like in this city in the era of its existence. Although it was long attested as mythical, upon its amazing discovery, the same academia immediately put forward a dating for its apparent submersion stating beyond doubt that the city disappeared beneath the Mediterranean waves around 1200 years ago. 
So far, they have discovered the remains of more than 64 ships, lots of gold coins, giant 16-foot statues uncovered and brought to the surface, with hundreds of smaller statues of minor gods being found on the sea floor. Slabs of stone inscribed in ancient Egyptian have also been brought to the surface. Dozens of small limestone sarcophagi were also recently uncovered by divers, and are believed to have once contained mummified animals put there to appease the gods. Dr. Damian Robinson, director of the Oxford Center for Maritime Archaeology at the University of Oxford, who is part of the team working on the site, said, quote, It is a major city we are excavating. The site has amazing preservation. We are now starting to look at some of the more interesting areas within it to try to understand life there. We are getting a rich picture of things like the trade that was going on there and the nature of the maritime economy in the Egyptian late period. There were things coming in from Greece and the Phoenicians." End quote. Another string to a once amazing civilization's bow. We will keep you posted regarding any perplexing finds. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care.